What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. We got some pretty big things with AMC here because in the past week, it's up 37%, but at one point it was up 100%, going from 30 to 60, super impressive here. But every single analyst I've ever seen for AMC are constantly giving the stock downgrades. And you kind of see why. This is a pretty big meme stock and since Wall Street is always super serious, when they see something as crazy as AMC, bam, massive downgrades. They do that all the time. And it's pretty frustrating, especially you as the investor, know the true value of AMC. And you constantly see these downgrades and it's really painful, it kind of sucks. I, mean, I feel like most investors don't really care. But finally, in like the haystack, we finally found one of the guys from Wedbush that's saying some cool things about AMC, giving it an upgrade in price, but at the same time, the upgrade in price isn't even that impressive. I feel like it's usually like a chain reaction. Once one analyst gets a little bit bullish, other analysts usually capitulate and do the same thing. They're like, oh, okay, let's say we look at AMC one time, we say it's pretty bullish. That's usually what happens. When you got like one guy doing it, a lot of other guys come and do it as well. But nevertheless though, AMC is getting some pretty big news here and there. I will tell you guys what could really make AMC soar, especially how we did have like two small short squeezes over here. But remember, after these two short squeezes, there is usually an even bigger short squeeze. There's actually some sort of like a hedge fund manipulation that's going on according on Twitter about how a lot of hedge funds were purposely like getting bullish positions, getting it up, you know, closing some of the short interest to make it look like the short squeeze was over and then traders sell because the party is over. But in fact, there's like billions of synthetic shares laying around that are causing a lot of trouble. Now we do have AMC right here. It's and some people are saying that's out of touch with fundamentals, but there is literally no fundamentals in check for AMC. Now we do have a wed bush analyst here giving it a massive price boost, and that's pretty big. And drum roll, please. Here is the price boost. Wed bush raises price target AMC to seven dollars and fifty cents from six dollars and fifty cents. Okay, I get it. It's probably not the best upgrade. I'm pretty sure you guys are hoping like 20, 30, 50 bucks. But I'm just saying of all the analysts out there that say a lot of really crazy things about AMC, this is like the only one that I find that's actually somewhat bullish, which is a pretty decent thing. And once again, like I said before, a lot of these meme stocks, once you got one analyst getting pretty bullish on it, give it a week, give it a couple of days or something like that. And a lot of other analysts get pretty bullish on the stock as well. Now, there's a few things that a lot of analysts are saying that could really make AMC pop, that will make them change their mind. First of all, diluting the stock and also raising capital is a really smart thing to do because AMC filed to sell 11 million shares here. More specifically, 11.5 million shares. Stock immediately tanked. They raised a lot of money there. Now, before this, they also raised $200 million by issuing shares to Mudrick Capital, which Mudrick bought and sold at the single day, making $50 million, but they didn't get to make a $300 million. But nevertheless, different story. That's the second stock dilution. Now they want to do another one because they're asking shareholders this time, shareholder votes, to issue 25 million more shares. It's really up to you to decide. Comment below, do you guys want something like that to happen? Because if it does happen, the price of AMC might crash for a bit. But here's the thing, they might actually start using funds and buy things. Before we dive into deeper, definitely check out the private Discord server, guys. Link in the description below. Gains for this May was almost $8,000. Stocks, options, crypto, all the trades are recorded. And we record all of our trades here. It's pretty nice. We have admins, analysts, really smart people working with you guys. We've got trades right here if you're interested. If you guys want to make some money with us, here it is, we've got analysts you know, trading with us, high win rates, crypto, market info, stock data. It's like your own little mini Bloomberg terminal, so many things. And if you guys have problems trying to set up, we have video guides, I'm here to help. Just you know, message me on Patreon or Discord, it's pretty nice. And plus, guess what? It's free until July 1st, so definitely check it out. Cancel anytime for free. AMC, raising this much money, and they're planning to use a lot of these millions to buy this movie theater chain, Arclights. Now, this is around Hollywood, California. They have like several of these movie theaters. They're very iconic, they're pretty big. It's pretty recognizable, especially this like a giant golf bar formation. But nevertheless though, they plan to raise a bunch of money for major acquisitions in the movie theater sector. Now, they're targeting you know, different cinemas and Pacific theaters. 
I want to say one thing about AMC because if they want to change the minds of a lot of these analysts, they got to spice things up. They can't just be buying movie chains again, okay? I want to see them buying streaming companies, like online digital companies. Very similar to GameStop, you know how they're pretty brick and mortar. Their e-commerce site is completely garbage. But now GameStop is making a decent chunk of the money from e-commerce, okay? GameStop is trying to change themselves to more of an online business. Have you guys seen Best Buy? Did you know Best Buy several years ago, they almost went out of business until the CEO is like, let's try online pickups and online deliveries. And guess what? Best Buy stock zoomed up. And this wasn't because no short squeeze, retail traders going in. It's just simply changing the business model to more of an online base compared to retail. If you check out AMC, they are mostly movie theaters and retail. I mean, yes, movie theaters are pretty dope, but hey, you could just somehow switch to somewhat of like an online digital world business with all this capital raise, you're good. I mean, almost $600 million in cold hard cash right now for AMC, and if they raise another chunk of money, we're looking at a total of $1.2 billion, possibly even more for AMC. So AMC with all this cash, what I want to see once again is to really spice things up and get something else. Because analysts right now, even the bullish ones, their major gripe is AMC isn't really worth the price it is right now. The reason why it's surging so much is because of the anticipation of a short squeeze. But if you look at the fundamentals, they can't really find any. Let's be honest here. What I wanna see from AMC is acquiring nice businesses. Every single analyst that is slightly bullish on AMC is saying that this capital liquidity raise is really smart. Paying off debts, you know, improving the company, improving the movie theaters, and buying other companies to strengthen themselves. That's one of the best ways to make a company go from bad to really, really good. And this is why you see companies like PetSmart, you know, they're changing their business to more of a digital aspect. This is why Chewy's doing so well, not because they sell dog toys and dog food in retail stores, but to try to sell them online and it's doing really well. So overall, I think AMC Entertainment is a super interesting stock. I will be having several videos coming out with quick predictions about what's going on. And there is some really crazy hedge fund activity for AMC that you guys definitely need to know. But nevertheless though, this analyst thing, it's really up to decide if it's actually worth even looking at. I mean, analysts don't even seem to affect the price of AMC anymore. I think it's like Wall Street bets, you know, if a couple influencers here and there and also Jim Cramer that could actually influence the price of AMC. Nevertheless though, thanks for watching guys. Comment below, once again, definitely check out the private Discord server guys. You won't regret it and it's free until July 1st. And also check out BlockFi, link in the description below. If you guys like cryptocurrencies, definitely check this one out because it's pretty nice. You can also earn interest, which is good money from your cryptos. For example, Ethereum, you can earn like 4.5%, Bitcoin 5% per year. That's pretty sweet just by holding it. And BlockFi is pretty nice. Deposit some money after you make your account and get to $250 worth of Bitcoin. Thanks for watching guys and comment below.